Hello and welcome to IMTV. Today we will give you a short guide to finding short and long-term accommodation in Hungary. Getting your address card, residence permit, toy card and other important official steps will require you to have long-term accommodation, so it is important to start searching as soon as possible. As an international student with a scholarship at BME, you might be entitled to the university dorm. However, in this video we will go through other options outside of that. The two main categories are short-term and long-term accommodations. Generally, your goal is to find a place to live long-term. However, when you first get to Hungary, you might need a place to stay for a few days while you are searching for a permanent solution. For short-term accommodation, we recommend checking out our website. Go to Accommodation, Short-Term Rentals. Currently, here you can find some websites where you can search for hostels as well as some specific places you can rent. Short-term rentals tend to be more flexible, but they also cost more money than long-term rentals, so this will only be a temporary solution. You can stay at one of these places for a night if you are not able to move into the university dorm on the day of your arrival, or stay there for a few days or weeks while you find a place to stay for the semester. For long-term accommodation, you also have two main options private dormitories and private rentals, in other words, a flat or a room in a flat. Private dormitories are usually cheaper, however, they almost always require you to share a room with others. You can find some general information and specific private dorms on our website at accommodation and private dormitories. These spaces usually fill up quite quickly, so if this is your preference, make sure to start looking as early as possible. If you are looking for an apartment or a room to rent, check out the private rental section with an accommodation on the website. Here you will find a lot of really useful basic information about renting as well as English and Hungarian Facebook groups and websites. We recommend that you join all of these groups and check out the websites even before coming to Hungary to get a better idea about your options and costs. Securing an apartment room is much easier once you are in the country. That way you can check out the potential locations in person, but it is good to get a bit more familiar with the market as soon as possible. It is useful to join as many groups as possible to see more options and raise your odds of finding a fitting place. BME is in the 11th district, so it's recommended to look for places in that and the surrounding districts. You can find more information about recommended areas on our website. Keep in mind that they are usually more expensive, so if your priority is to find something cheaper, it might be worth it to have a longer commute to school every day. If you are coming to Hungary for the first time, we recommend booking a hostel for at least 10 days to give yourself some time to search for an apartment. Keep in mind that your accommodation allowance will almost certainly not cover the cost of a flat, room or even a place in a private dorm. We recommend looking for roommates somewhere. For example, the BME International Students or BME Flats and Flatmates Facebook groups because it might be easier to search for an apartment together. You can find links to these groups in the description below. Some owners might not speak English. If you need someone to translate for you, feel free to contact the accommodation team. You can collect phone numbers to call or places you would like to check out. And if they don't speak English, you can contact your mentors or write an email to imt.accommodation at bme.hu and we will be happy to help. We cannot help you make a decision on which place to choose and unfortunately we do not have the capacity to help in the search itself but you can count on us for assisting you through any issue that comes from the language barrier by calling or translating to the non-English speakers. Let's go through the process of renting so you can picture what to expect. The market moves pretty fast, especially around September and January. So once you have found a few rentals in Facebook groups or on websites, we recommend contacting them as soon as possible. Set up a time with the landlord to see the place in person. If they don't speak English, it might be useful to ask a mentor to go with you there as well. If both you and the landlord agree, you have found your place. Most rentals will ask for two months worth of deposit and the first month's rent when you move in. This is to protect the owner in case of any damages to the property or if you break the contract. It's important to keep in mind that you can't live off of the deposit or use it to pay for the last two months of your stay. If no issues are found, they will give it back after you move out. Make sure to clarify when they'll give you the deposit back after you move out. 
Before you move in, you will need to sign a lease agreement. You can find an example on the website in English and Hungarian. We recommend using that. If your landlord has their own, make sure to read it carefully. You can also send this to the IMT Mentor team and we will double check it for you. It's good to know that if the lease agreement is both in English and Hungarian and there is a mistranslation, the Hungarian will be the valid version. Make sure to clarify if the rental fee includes utilities or if you will have to pay extra because that can make a pretty big difference in the total cost. Clarify what the total cost will be and what day of each month you will have to pay it. Make sure to have some type of documentation anytime you pay, both when you give them the deposit and when you pay each month. We hope this video helps you in the process, but we know it can be hard and scary at times, so feel free to ask for further help from the mentor team. And don't forget to get a toy card.